What's going on, everybody? My name's Chris, and welcome back to another exciting episode of Let's Play The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker. In the last episode, we came back to Windfall Islands after dealing with Ganondorf, I think? I don't freaking know, I don't remember. And this episode, we're gonna do a few more psych. Oh, you know, I know what I started. I started, to, I talked to Lenzo, and he told me to get a pic. Oh, 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 get a picture of someone with unrequited love. I wonder if the Rito Postman has come. Wait, I wonder if the Rito Postman has come too. This guy's supposed to be Mario, apparently. The Rito Postman. Did he say something about a letter? Does that have something to do with that guy? Have you seen the small metal pedestals around town? We call those joy pedestals. Yeah, they got uh, installed a little while ago by the newly formed Joyous Volunteer Association. It's part of this grand plan to help decorate the town. Anyway, they're brilliant. I may as well tell you that both myself and Zanari, the guy who runs the stall over there, are members just like... Uh, you just have to be a part of stuff like this. Interesting. Dully noted. Okay, so... Essentially, we're waiting for somebody... Somebody... To try and deliver a letter and then snap a picture of them. I don't know who that person could possibly be. But, we're waiting for somebody to try and deliver a letter, and then we gotta take a picture of them. So, we're at, actually, the best thing to do is stand over here. Whoa, I just saw the inside of your eye. Also, thank god, this guy doesn't, like, chase after you and try to trick you. It never did happen to me in this Let's Play. But, like, the, the, old, the other old guy that was here before, he would always, like, chase after you, and he would talk to you if he catches you, and it would just be really annoying. So, yeah, we gotta wait for somebody... Dang it. <laughs> you don't look familiar at all, buddy. I think I've talked to this guy already. I might have actually done that in my other attempt at Let's Play this before I fail. Oh, he's so far away. <laughs> so, I mean, I obviously know who it is, but, I mean, it, for people who don't know what it is, I believe he did say to wait at the mailbox, right? And then, like, he's coming, like, you just gotta wait here for someone to come to the mailbox. So, fast forward slash cut away until he finally gets here, because good lord, he takes a while. Oh crap! <laughs> he's not supposed to see me. He's not supposed to see me. All right. Oh man, he's really like looking for me too. Jeez. Oh, I need to find a spot. Go like over here, over yonder. I really like how they have this little platform jutting out. Don't. A to take. Okay, here we go. And bam. Heck yeah, I'll save that. Can I, like, does it say anything? Whoa, what do you want? What do you want? <laughs> now, what does he do? Does he just walk back or does he stand there forever? I guess he walks back. Let's see. Was that all he needed to send? I didn't forget anything, did I? I guess he just walks to and from, which I really like that. I really like when NPCs, like, walk around the entirety of the town. And we have two of those. We have that guy that I said I wasn't too sure if I talked to, and come to think of it, I don't think I did. So I will, I will talk to him again, uno momento. There's so much stuff I gotta do, you guys, <laughs> it's crazy. There's a side quest with that guy too. The guy that I was talking about the pedestals is a side quest with him. Holy crap, it's actually darker here than I thought. Somewhere in this town, there is one, despite constant rejection, never learns love's cruelest lesson, and continues to write love letters without rest. Yeah, I guess love letters is the hint. Uh, I need to recover proof of this of this sad story by catching this person and everything. That's not that's very subtle. Yeah, I take the picture from a clear distance and, or from a good distance and make sure it's clear. Here we go. I really hope that's good. If he doesn't like that, ho ho! Now this is a Farley snap pictograph. And, actually, I'm pretty proud of that pictograph. Hmm, now they say love is blind, but who could be? What, what could he be thinking, mailing all these letters? Maybe it's like the freaking notebook or whatever the movie is called with a with the guy sending a letter every single day for a year. I should not ridicule him, though, for he reminds me of myself back in the innocence of my youth. Memories of those bittersweet summer days rushing back to me. But I digress. Very good, young sir. I must congratulate you on passing your first test. I should promptly take this picture off from you and use it most efficiently. 
Very well. Next is my second command. You must search this town for the most timid and cowardly resistant. I tend to flog his spirit as to lend him some backbone. This individual flinches and jumps at even the slightest of surprises. I need you to capture the instant of pure fear on this individual's face in the pictograph. So tell me, do you think you complete this task, young sir? Hmm, that sound familiar? Well, I can tell you guys that we have already met him. Um, it, I think it was our first visit to Windfall. And, well, we were in the cafe. The... I was gonna say, I was thinking of cafe and, um... In the uh, uh, or not Ocarina time, Majora's Mask, the cafe, and what, what's the other person's name? The guy's cafe, right? And and you? All right. Oh, can I help you with something? Let's talk. Listen to this. Someone and a gang of gangly pirates came to my shop without any warning. Do you think? Uh, and do you know what they wanted? What? what? Well, I'll tell you. They said, "Hey, you, you'll be, we'll be, you'll be renting your little place out to us tonight." You got that? I had no choice. And that night, they stood up all night drinking coffee, singing strange pirate songs of love and loss, whatever that means, and generally causing a ruckus. Well, they were a troublesome bunch. Yeah, but I mean, they paid, right? They're pirates. Both Mila and Maggie ain't returned unharmed. It sounds as though those went through quite an ordeal, but they're safe now. <laughs> so it's this guy who's terrified of all the things. I don't know if that's going to be a good picture or not, but it got all his good parts. <laughs> oh, that's good, I mean. So, yeah, you can hit a wall. You can also knock stuff off. I mean, that that's a good thing to get scared of. Maybe not rolling to a wall, but... Yep. Hello! Whoa, don't start me like... Th uh, whoa, don't start me like that. Sheesh, I thought we were having an earthquake or something. You guys remember him now? No? Well, oh well. <laughs> He is quite a <coughs> person, an unmemorable person. This side quest is actually pretty, like, difficult to do if you don't already, like, know everything about this town. Like, even if you've seen that once or twice before, like, I wouldn't even think to go there. I think I'd, I had a lot of trouble. I, th I probably couldn't even do this side quest on my own. I probably had to do it using, a uh, like, a walkthrough or something. Oh, oh no, this is, like, yeah. Oh. Uh, clearly this individual, clearly this individual must be the town's most timid of denizens. Fear is his constant companion. I cannot complain, young sir. You have played in the most admirable manner. Say, uh, and it is me, or is this chap quite the striking individual? Excuse me? Very good, young sir. <laughs> this means you have passed the second- I, Is he coming on to him? <laughs> so promptly take this pictograph from me and use it most efficiently. <laughs> Very good, next is the law. My, my long last, my final command. Open your heart and mind and listen to what I have to say. So this town is a man and woman whose hearts are secretly filled with thoughts of each other, and yet for reasons unknown, they have never spoken. Even when they happen by chance to pass the road, they steal a brief, uh, furtive glance of the other. God dang it. But they they suppress the longing in their hearts. I cannot let this tragedy go on any longer. For the sake of the town, my own desire to help those two poor souls, I shall become Cupid, Archer of Love. These two are timid burglars in the house of love, and you must capture a pictograph of them thinking their future of thought, a furtive thought. And young Master Link, if and when, hope and beyond, you manage to complete this third test, then you should be my number one pupil. Oh, 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 oh. so I think say you can look, young sir. Once again, very freaking, like, I don't know how... <laughs> it's expected of you to know this. <clears throat> um, there is a very, very, very subtle uh, glance that happens between two characters when they walk past each other. Like, who are the characters that walk around town? There's Mario, but we already know he delivers letters. Who else is walking around? I mean, there's a killer bees, but they seem a bit young for love to be a far, to be fair, to be far. Uh, who else might be walking around? Is there anyone else? I mean, these two are just standing. Everyone's just kind of standing around. This guy's moping over there. Mope, 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 mope. Anybody else? Anybody else? Everyone's. Oh, <gasps> this guy's walking. Okay, let's talk to him. Just kidding. So anyway, taking strolls is kind of a hobby of mine. I'm always moving, buddy. Aw, oh, I skipped his first text. I don't think he's going to say it again. But do you think it's strange for a young guy like me to walk around so much? Well, whatever. I'll tell you one thing, because I take many strolls. I know all the best walking courses in town. Take a little path beside the bomb sub, for example. How many people in town know that kind of sneak around the back of the building? I think I'm the only one, buddy. Nope. <laughs> Alright, so it's actually this guy uh, has a little love interest in town. 
Oh god, he's, that's another one that's gonna take forever. Holy crap. Well, I guess we might as well collect some rupees while we're waiting for him. Because the girl he's actually gonna take a glance at is actually uh, near where the killer bees are. It's actually this group of children here. I shouldn't call them the killer bees since you guys don't know who they are. It's actually this girl. The only way to know that is when they walk by each other, they give like a seriously, it's like a second long look, and then they keep walk and then he keeps walking. Well, what do you think of my outfit? You don't see clothes like this very often, do you? Are they so cute? A friend of mine who lives on Outside Island said this outfit to me. What? She's an amazing girl. She can put jars on her head and walk around like it's nothing at all. You have to see it to believe it. What? what? It's the evil de demon jar girl. You know something? When you stand here, uh, you see a lot of people, different people pass by. This is brand. This is a brand new outfit. You know, I wish someone would notice it. That is actually some like. Can I notice it with my camera? Good God! Get out of my face! Eh. Let's try this pictograph. I, I vaguely remember. Oh, can I not? Okay, maybe that either comes later or it just doesn't happen at all. I could be wrong about that. Um. All right. Where's our dude? I mean, she. I guess that's kind of a little hint too. She wants someone to notice it, but that's not very. You know. Uh, he's only there? Are you serious? Why is he standing there? Like, almost looked like he was looking at the girl in front of the potion shop there, but that's incorrect. Good lord, he's got a... Oh, actually, he might walk up this way. Man, I love Windfall Island. It's the best. I think it's my favorite hub ever in a Zelda game. It's just so much more lively than any other one, I think. I mean, Kakariko Village in uh, Ocarina of Time... There was a few, like, side quests and stuff in there, but no one really came alive. Twilight Princess, Castle Town, I mean, yeah, that was like an actual city, but the thing was, there, like, most of them were just random NPCs that you couldn't even talk to. It looked cool, you know what, no, it didn't even look as cool as this, to be fair. I mean, everyone in this town you could talk to, and it's amazing. I mean, keep in mind, there isn't that many people, okay, good, he comes up that way, oh no. Okay, uh, Okay, he's gonna probably walk this way, so let's stand like over here and good lord, these freaking children. Children! Children, you, if you guys ruin this for me, I swear on me, mom, mate. Come on. No! No! Get out of my way, children! Ah! Oh my god! Oh! <laughs> wow! Okay, there's... But see what I mean? That was so subtle. It's like you just think because they're near each other, that's why they looked at each other. But no, that's the hints that they're secret lovers. I know, it's crazy, right? It's weird. I don't understand how it works, but okay. Let's actually try showing him this picture just to see what he says. <laughs> oh, oh, this is the finally that pictograph indeed. I know these two would get along so splendidly. What do you mean? They just look at each other. You can see the love they're hidden but thriving. Even I, who have lived in this town for so... Uh, many long years did not realize the slice of extent of the passion you have done well, Link. I shall promptly take this pictograph from you and use it most efficiently. Now then, my young sir, you have completed all the tasks I set to you. And my doubts about you have been cleared up. I shall hereby be proud to call you my assistant, Link, and no assistant of mine will be going anywhere, going around taking pictographs in a monochrome. Not in a million years, so here, allow me to present you with this picture box. We got the deluxe pickle balls! A gift from Lorenzo, commemorating your your being becoming his assistant. They can take color pictographs. Get it to X, Y, or R. Yeah, right. Hm. Until now, you can only take black and white pictographs. But now you can only. But now you can take color pictographs. Yay! Allowing you to show the world as it's meant to be seen. Now, go out there and snap pictographs. Stop them in color for me. For all the years I've spent unable to do so, fulfill my life's ambition. Go for it. Go to it, Link. Okay. So, in the original game, actually, first off, let's let's just test this real quick. Say cheese, motherfucker. <laughs> in the first game, the way to get, I mean, that side quest didn't, I don't think it really did, actually, I don't remember what it did, to be fair. What? Hello? I don't know what happened there, that was weird. I mean, my gamepad isn't on, it's dead, there's no battery in that at all. Uh... I might keep that one actually. Um, just delete all this crap. Might as well. Yeah, in the original game, you had to use um, <clears throat> a forest fairy in order to get him to give you 
color. And, I mean, once again, that's a very, very, very subtle hint of the forest fairy. Just because it flashes colors and um, the guy says he needs something colorful or something to put color into the camera or something. I don't freaking know. But, uh... Yeah, I don't remember what that side quest actually did in the original game, to be honest. But I know you did it for, definitely didn't get the deluxe pick the box from it. Actually, there's a fellow I've had my eye on lately. He's got such a distinguished chin, and he's always walking back and forth. Okay. So, what would happen? Seriously? I thought maybe I could, like, show a picture of him. So, let's, let's see... Let's see if we could talk to him and maybe, you know... Cause, I mean, it's unrequited love. We have to settle that, you guys. We have to. We must. We must. In the name of love, we must. Hello, dude. What do you have to say about that kind lady? So anyway, he thinks... What? What do you think is strange? Really? Well, whatever. I'll tell you one thing. Because it takes many struggles. Best... Do you see... Do you, ha do you not care? For the lovely lady? Really? What if I take a picture of him? I mean, I know I couldn't show her the pictograph of the dude. Or I, I know I couldn't show her a pictograph. Maybe I just have to have a picture of him already in my camera? It would be weird. I don't think the game would be able to detect that I had a picture of him in my camera in specific. But let's try it out. Can we just not do this yet? Maybe we just can't do this yet. Huh. I guess we'll come back to that later. So, I mean, you might be thinking. I mean, we saw the poor guy out front there. He used to be the... He's the must, nose mustache guy. And he used to be in here. But he's not anymore. So, is there anyone living here now? Let's, let's, let's take a look. Hello? You there! Halt! Oh, yeah, that wretched street urchin. I thought you were the postman. Be thankful, because if it were the postman, I would shoot you out before you could even say boo. Postman say boo? What? But say, you look rather familiar for a street urchin. Have we met some at some other place before? Mm -hmm. Oh, good lord. Are you serious? What a role reversal plot twist, you guys. The guy who used to be poor is now rich, and the rich guy is now poor. And then there's... This girl, which, why are you wearing bunny ears? Is really weird. Oh, they think I would survive my ordeal and return to this town. And to think that I would ever be able to live in such a beautiful, opulent house. It's like a dream come true. Hmm, but no, no. It's a nightmare without him by my side. It's like a rainstorm rages in my heart. He was so kind to me in the Forsaken Fortress. That sweet boy who gave me all those expensive necklaces when I fled from that cursed island. It's hearing his name lifts my spirits. Mo. The wonderful moblin from the Forsaken Fortress. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, Mo. Why, Mo? M in case you forgot, moblins are the big pig creatures we were fighting in the Forsaken Fortress. I'm always writing heartfelt letters to my overflowing emotions, but why don't you answer me, Mo? Ugh. This is bad. Oh, terribly bad. I already drifted off into my own dream world. Oh, by the way, I have a request for you. Could you take this letter I've just finished inking and deliver it to the post box for me? Please, I beg of you. Uh, sure. What? Really? You're such a dear. You've made Maggie so happy. You got Maggie's letter. It's a letter from Maggie to her sweetie. Give me a delivery, Maggie. Oh, there's like a little bunny on it. It's adorable. The post box. Don't you dare forget. We promise, must promise not to read it. Girl's secrets. The secrets of a girl's heart are, desired, are just shared to the one she desires. Can we actually read it? I'm not too sure. Let's take a look. Wait, can we just... No. No! Um, I don't. I think we're just gonna lift it above our head, aren't we? Aw. We won't get the chance to take a look at it. Oh, I was like, why can't I take my sword out? But yeah, that makes sense. So, in the next episode, we will play Delivery Boy for Maggie. And if you guys haven't connected it yet, I mean, he is delivering mails back to her, or letters back to her, but he's stopping it! Oh, what a notebook story. Look at that freaking giant ass hat. It looks stupid, man. Can't believe this guy's rich now. First, he was talking about he, he, the reason why he wants his daughter back is because he can't make a rupee without her. And now he's just an asshole. No, look at his hat. It's proof of how big of an asshole he is. <sighs> Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye bye.